in Kinshasa, campaigns to raise awareness against the spread of coronavirus are common in urban or downtown areas. But getting that information to people who have no access to water, electricity or money can be a challenge. At a camp for widows and orphans outside the capital, market woman Christine Losa says they did not know what to do. When they announced the disease had reached the DRC and the president announced the measures, it was scary. How and what would we do? We usually sell our goods downtown and now downtown is quarantined. Plus, this disease has no face. How do we spot it? What is going to happen to us? Some women here, especially the oldest, were panicked, and all we had to suit them with were our words. There is no running water or electricity in this camp, where widows receive a monthly stipend of less than $20. So buying face masks or extra soap to fight coronavirus was a struggle. That's where Christela Kiakuba comes in. An orphan of military parents herself, she runs the aid group Telema Monayama Pinga, or Stand Up Child of the Military. How come our parents are ready to die helping protect our country, its territory, people and riches, and at the end of the day, we are the poorest and most vulnerable and miserable. And poorest among the poorest, most astute among the most astute are the widows and the orphans. The 26-year-old is visiting the camp with her team to distribute face masks and show people how to use them and how to wash their hands for the time it takes to kill the virus. They talked about it on the radio, but we didn't actually get it. How to properly wash your hands, how to still wash our hands if we don't have soap. When the Moana Ya Mipinga people came and showed us, then we understood. Elvis Sumbuka Nyomba lost his parents when he was a year old. He was raised in this camp by his grandmother and joined Kiakuba's aid group last year. Today she came to give sanitary masks. Mind you, since the coronavirus outbreak, no one from any authority has set foot in this camp. Kiakuba says so far, no one in the widows and orphans camp has shown signs of infection with the coronavirus. And that is all the more reason to stay vigilant. Everything we do plays a role to raise awareness among public opinion and our leaders. For you know what they say. It is better to prevent something than to cure it. And that is what we are doing. Kiakuba's work does not stop with the health campaigns. She also delivers food and offers legal help to widows and orphans of military and police personnel at 27 camps around the capital. Anastasia Tudias for VOA News, Kinshasa.